The orphans remain safe in the grounds of the elephant transit home. And for them, it's snack time. Most of them are old enough to feed themselves. In the wild, many would have been weaned years ago. Here they form an orderly line. Namal comes first. He's still not strong enough to feed with the others. Unlike most of the gang, this is milk that he actually needs. But it's still a treat, one he always looks forward to. The others must wait their turn. In the wild, suckling strengthens the bond between mother and calf. The closest Namal has to a parent is Celinda. And the others don't even have that. The keeper in charge of maintaining order in the gang does so with his back turned. It's part of ETH's policy of keeping contact with the orphans to a minimum. Only when Namal is done do the others get their turn, a few at a time. They have impeccable manners. They know they're only allowed a jug full each. Then, very politely, off they go. And the next customer takes their place. For the ETH staff, this is a difficult balancing act. They must support the orphans without compromising their release into the wild. With so little understood about the elephant's wild behavior, it's hard to know what aspects of elephant education the gang are missing out on. But this is the only chance they have of getting back to the wild. <laughs> <laughs> 